Officials in various cities can attest to this when you have a big project. You're always looking for quicker and cheaper ways to do it. And that's why a presentation on light rail expansion was held this afternoon. That plan to extend the tide all the way to the beach could cost $20 million less per mile and be ready within three years. That's according to a development team pitching its plan today. Ten of your sides, Ava Hurdle, was there to hear all about it. Ava. The council heard about the process involved before making its decision to accept the proposal to extend the tide for its consideration. It would be fantastic if it goes there. Extending the tide into Virginia Beach would make light rail rider and resident Mary Ames extremely happy. Well, it's time saving, it's gas saving. It's just wonderful. Private developers want to move the train five miles up the track from Newtown Road, where it now ends, to Rosemount Road, with stops at Witch Duck, Independence, and Rosemont, complete with park and ride lots at Witch Duck and Rosemont. During a briefing, City Attorney Mark Stiles outlined the City Council's approval process in different phases with an emphasis on public notification and comment about the plan. But getting light rail extended to the beach? That's the $235 million question. That's the cost of the private proposal, which expects to have light rail rolling by 2016. The, the next steps are the council um, has to decide whether or not to accept the proposal. And if we accept the proposal, um, then we have to determine what amount of time we're going to allow for competitive proposals to come in. City Manager James Four suggested a 90-day period between May and August of this year for that. Now, the council did decide on an April 23rd public comment session on this new plan. Back to you.